today I'm with Roberto and Flora. How long have you guys been out here in the streets of Phoenix? Uh, two months. Two months ago, what happened to cause you to come out here to the streets? Uh, we, uh, my girlfriend uh, lives out here and uh, she was down in New Mexico and uh, she was out there living there for about two years. And, uh, uh, last year, she, her father died uh, and uh, I met her uh, in February and uh, we ended up having falling out. She moved back out here. I followed her back out here and uh, the day I moved out here with her, the day I got here, she ended up getting kicked out and uh, we ended up on the street. Yeah, I came out here to uh, get better and do better and get myself right. And uh, my brother kicked me out for wanting to stay with him. And then I started living with my homegirl. And once he got out here, it just all went downhill. You guys are from New Mexico? Yeah. Yeah, she's from out here. I'm from out there. I was in Albuquerque. Um, yeah, that's where I'm from. Uh, gosh, what's that called? The War Zone? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, Albuquerque uh, guy last year I went and uh, something very prevalent down there is blues are you guys yeah. using blues as well yeah how long has that been going on mm, for me it's been about two months um, about three about two and a half three almost. Yeah, about a year so a year ago Flora how were you introduced to them um I was uh, me and my parents moved back to New Mexico and um, we're living in hotel to hotel and there's all around. And uh, my parents are both addicts. Sounds like there's been some instability in your life, Laura, that's contributed to where you're at today, you think? Um, I guess, I, I wouldn't uh, put it on my parents, it's just uh, uh, they put it on me to be the adult while they were the kids. So I provided the room and stuff for them and took care of them. And uh, after my dad passed away, it, just, it was all hard for me. My condolences for your loss. It has to be hard out here. So hot, the the dangers out here, right, Roberto? Uh, yeah, the, the, actually, uh, about two nights ago, uh, I was uh, in the field uh, right across the street and uh, we were asleep and uh, they the cops came out and uh, woke me up and uh, yeah, I got all information and everything like that. They couldn't find me in the system because, uh, and they know me from out here, the, in the two months I've been here, they, they know my know me by name. Uh, they, at the end, at the end of, and, uh, they hogtied me. Um, they uh, beat me, kicked me. Uh, like they, they beat me up uh, and at the end of the whole situation uh, they said all oh, this all could have been resolved if you would have gave us the correct spelling of your name and the whole time they were calling me Roberto and they said my the spelling of my name was Robert but they were calling me Roberto the whole time they know me from out here from previous encounters so it was, it was complete bullshit that they were that what they were doing they literally uh, when we had two shopping carts that we were we had all our stuff on um, and they dumped you know, it all out. They dumped all, all the stuff out on, on the and said, stuff and said me, they, they literally got the carts and strapped them to the front of the cruisers and drove away with them. I said, We need all your stuff out of here by the morning because uh, a front end load is coming tomorrow. And uh, if you don't have your stuff out of here, uh, it's going to run away. So we got up in the morning, uh, had no way to fuck get none of our stuff out of here. So they lost all our uh, literally said, yeah, the front of the door, I, I had a little freezer that I had pulled out of a dumpster. Uh, it was worth about $200. So uh, it was one of the things, my prized possessions out here that I needed to keep going, to, to have money in my pocket, to uh, never do anything out here, to have food in my stomach. Me, So I, it was one thing I needed. So we went, she went and got me another shopping cart. Uh, we started loading up. Me and her got into an argument. She took off. Uh, I'm sitting there and we're loading up what I could. and turn around and there's a front end loader about to snatch the little front, freezer that we have mm -hmm. uh, to pick it up and, and throw it in the, in the trash. So I to tell him stop, stop, stop. I go over there and with the shopping cart, uh, throw everything out of it, load up the freezer into it, uh, get our clothes uh, and pretty much that was it. 
uh, our tent that we had, uh, all our pillow blankets, all our possessions, uh, pretty much got thrown, everything got thrown away. But I saved enough stuff that we could sell and start over again, start somewhere. I mean, I have my, my little, uh, little uh, freezer that I, I retrofit to, have to, so I can have cold food, you mean, to, like, it's just, I mean, the little tiny things that we could have, I mean, and uh, they threw everything away and uh, sat there, they, they had a person there uh, making sure nothing bad would happen, but I got hogtied and drug around uh, with my tarp, they hogtied me with my tarp and, and drug me around. Uh, destroyed my everything, uh, threw all my stuff away the next morning, and and then told me that it was because they, that yeah, my spelling of my name, my first name was wrong. So there's some harassment from the police. Yeah, really bad. Yeah, the the supervisor. We had the supervisor and then and then asked up, for the supervisor. The supervisor he, came out and said, oh you, "Oh, you assaulted my 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 officers." I said, "No, they were kicking me." So I kicked back to get away from me, uh, and uh, he. Literally was sitting there reviewing the tapes and then he just drove, drove off. off. They uh, no put the carts on the front of the thing and I'm sitting there waiting for, for them to, well, I, I want something, a report written out, so, something. Because this is wrong what you guys did to me. A spelling of my first name. You guys did all this for a spelling. And they got me for urban camping and position of shopping carts. They did all that and that's what they charged me with. I have a court date for that. For wow. possession of shopping carts and urban camping. Because I was asleep, minding my own business, just not bothering the other nobody. Day he got attacked too and got hit by a boulder. Yeah, I got, got hit with a boulder the other day. Somebody uh, hit you with the boulder out Yeah. Here? So, people would say those are all reasons for you guys to get off the streets. Yeah. Because yeah. it's so dangerous out here. And they, yeah. they have programs and stuff like, um, yeah. Starting Monday, we can start working and like picking yeah. up trash out the yeah, parks and stuff. Is that Glendale Cares? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where they pay you yeah, like yeah. once and, and or they twice. Pay, pay you, pay you what, at the end of the day, you only work five hours. It's sixty-five dollars a day. So sixty-five, sixty-five. That's that's one hundred thirty dollars. We be able to get a hotel uh, and some food in our stomachs and at least not be on the street. Okay. Not be able, uh, be able to get harassed by the cops. I mean, does that program help a little bit? Uh, well, hopefully, we should, we, 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 should, we, we start, start Monday, Monday. so. Yeah, I've talked to other people and they yeah we're on standby like on Monday, so yeah. I mean we don't actually get on the schedule till Tuesday, but we go on Monday and be on standby. So if no some show does some of them show up, we have a chance. You mean all of yeah a lot of security issues uh, as far as um, also when I've talked to couples, it's you know when you're the females tend to be bothered right by other guys right mm -hmm. um so it's good uh, flora that you're you have somebody to protect you because if you're out here by yourself it's it's worse mm -hmm. you know because that's when all these crazy people come out and yeah i've know? been followed by a few cars before and stuff and that's scary mm -hmm. yeah i guess it, it's more scary when they just continue to follow when they just like they just yell out the window and stuff that, and like pull over but like not actually like continue following me it's mm, I don't, it's still like do you me think, alone but like do you, mm. do you think they're trying to snatch you do you think they are trying to be inappropriate with you what what do they want do you think, I, I think it, it, uh, yeah I, there's sex trafficking that's going on out here there's I mean, people, people just they, 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 I was yeah. talking with the one of the clerks that are down in Circuit and they uh, were said telling that, that the cops were talking to him about um the government sn getting snatching uh, homeless people up and taking them to camps. Yeah, we heard that there's camps going on and stuff, um, underground there, camps and stuff. Yeah, where they're, they're stealing yeah. homeless you people and, people and uh, it, it, you have to get a pardon to get out of them. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't know how true that is, but that is a story that, that I'm hearing from, I mean, clerks that are talking to cops, I mean, so yeah. I don't know how, how true it is, but... Right. That's that's scary. You I mean it's this? And then we notice people missing on Yeah, you, you also you look like that, and then there's shopping carts just Throwing saying they're gone. The people that you know, all that, that's all your stuff. possessions. That's everything you have. So people don't just leave their stuff there. You know I mean, right. I, I take mine everywhere I go. Right. I mean, <laughs> to go down the street, I take it. You mean, know, but Roberto, how old are you? Uh, I'm forty. How old are you, Flora? Nineteen. Okay, so you're good. You guys are you feel safe, both of you guys together. Yeah. 
Um, the reason I ask is I've interviewed people and I always try to make sure that uh, the female is, is feels safe, you know? Um, so I'm glad that you're helping to protect her because I honestly believe that if Flora was out here by herself, it, it'd be 10 times worse for you, Flora. Okay, the stories that I've heard from other people, I was taken and I escaped. I got lucky I escaped. Oh my goodness, I, I wouldn't want that to happen for you, okay? So I'm glad that Roberto's out here helping protect you a little bit, okay? But protection's gonna be off of the streets. It's safer, mm -hmm. okay? So uh, I'm gonna say thank you guys very much for uh, talking to me, sharing your story, Roberto and Flora. I'm gonna give you my card with my number so you, can, you guys can call me if you ever need to write a treatment. So many treatment centers, so much help out there. You guys have to decide to get well together, okay? One thing I've noticed is that for couples, it's a little bit harder to get well because you guys are enabling each other to stay here, okay? You, you know, it, it's true, yeah. I, you know? It, it, you guys keep each other I, down. I, yeah, I, I You guys feel comfortable. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. yeah you, you know? see each other sick or right. you want to see the other person hurting. Yep. Yeah, that's just how it, how it is. You want to make sure they're okay. That's just how it is, you know? And uh, I would love for both of you to get well together. That'd be my my hope, okay? So uh, thank you guys very much. Stay safe. We'll talk soon, okay? Thank you. Thank you.